Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to eat a golden berry, also known as a Cape Gooseberry or Phasalis Peruviana. And I'm gonna do a taste test. I've never tasted these before, so I'm excited to do it. And despite the nickname of Cape Gooseberry, it is actually not really a gooseberry. They are a member of the nightshade family and closely re resemble a tomatillo. Now these are native to Peru and parts of Chile, but they are cultivated and grown all around the world in places like Australia, New Zealand, and England, and South Africa, and other places like China, places like that. And these particular ones that I bought were actually imported from Colombia. And I bought them at my local Sprouts. Pretty awesome. My local Sprouts has a kind of an exotic or tropical aisle, which is just a small little aisle like this big that has a, um, a handful of different tropical fruits that come in when they are in season. So it's pretty cool. These weren't super expensive. It was $3.99 for about 25 uh, golden berries, so pretty awesome. I'm excited to dive in. Drop a comment down below and let me know if you've had them before. But let me bring the camera in for a closer look and uh, show you what they look like and do a taste test and point out some health benefits. All right, so here is a closer look at the golden berry. Some health benefits, they're high in antioxidants, high in vitamin C. They have anti-inflammatory properties. It may boost immunities among other things. So they're packed with nutrients. So what can you do with these golden berries? Well, you can eat them fresh. You can dry them and eat them that way. You can put them in sauces and compotes and different uh, pies and make jellies with it. And people even make use it to make ice cream. So a variety of uses for this golden berry. And when you look at one, look at this. It's encased in a like a, a papery, leaf casing called a, I think it's pronounced calyx. And it's very similar to like a tomatillo. And then you can just open it up and inside is the berry. And it's kind of like a waxy outer part to it. And uh, you don't really need to wash it because it's encased, um, but you certainly could wash them if you want. You don't want to eat them with any green spots or you don't want them to be green when you eat them because like other members of the nightshade family, they can um, not be good for you or poisonous if you eat them before they are ripe. And then just to eat it, I'll just move some of these out of the way. And you can just pop it in your mouth just like that. But I'm gonna cut it open and show you what it looks like on the inside. On the inside, if you can see, there's just a lot of little seeds in there, um, but it looks pretty good, pretty juicy. Now let's do a taste test. Mmm. They are very good. They don't they don't taste like a tomatillo. They taste they're a little bit tart, a little bit sweet, and uh, have a similar taste to like close like uh, it's hard to say like maybe a mix between like a pineapple and a mango but a little bit less sweet than those. And so it's very good, but it's, it is a distinct taste. So, it, and it's tart. So I could see why it would hold up well in like a pie, um, adding sugar to it to make like a pie or a sauce or something like that. But it's a very, very good little fruit. And I'm gonna just try another one here. Hmm. Yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. That bigger one that I just ate, it was very pronounced orange color, um, light orange color, and it was actually very sweet. So depending on their size and their color, it looks like that um, there'll be some sweetness there. And you'll notice that the outside is it's waxy and kind of a little bit sticky, and that's okay. Mm, 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 mm. So very tasty. And uh, so I encourage you, if you have an opportunity to try them out, grab them 
like I said, you can eat them fresh, you can dry them, or use them in a variety of dishes, sauces, jams, jellies, pies, things of that nature. Once again, drop a comment down below and let me know if you have tried these before and if you like them. Also, let me know how much they cost where you are. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive in another one of these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm.